What's up? What's <laughs> up? I'm learning how to say welcome in different languages. Oh, good. So, you That's know. very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the love that you've shown to us. We are very, very grateful indeed. Yes. Um, and oh my goodness, our promo, our promo picks. Um, thank you so much. And the video. Yes. I mean, look, I, 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 I message tools like I'm kind of scared. <laughs> like we've never received this sort of re- response. Like basically yeah. off of the promo pitch and pics and video alone so thank you very much i'm overwhelmed yeah 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 and then a lot of people had been um obviously reaching out to us because september was the month of passports passports lots of madness <laughs> happening to remember. and then i would get on twitter and then people would be like oh if women and tools were here now they'd be saying this they'd be saying this the so pressure. you know what we are going to kind of do a bit of a rundown yeah uh but first off we need to say a big shout out to our sponsor for this episode uh bookings africa yes shout yes, out yes, to yes. bookings africa make sure you download the app um it's basically an app where you can uh get paid now let me yep. explain how it works you basically go there to sell your skills so if you're a photographer makeup artist lesson teacher whatever it is that you're doing go on there download the app the app is free create a profile for yourself put in every th- single thing that you do how much money you wish Ooh. to earn um you can even if you're a makeup artist for example you can even go on there and get like your do what they call those things portfolio like, apart from your portfolio um you can do like a, a class a master class so whatever it is that you're doing and you are prepared to teach a master class in you can actually do that on the app and so many other things also if you're a client and you're looking for mm-hmm. fresh faces you know models you're looking for someone to do makeup you're look for someone to do hair look for someone to translate maybe from english to french or french to english or whatever it is go on there and register as a client and you also can register as a service provider as well and there's there's i believe there's a rating there's Mm -hmm. some kind kind, some kind of rating so obviously you know you have a a good idea of who you're working with Mm -hmm. um it's not going to be a case of you know you book somebody that has five stars and they maybe just don't show up so this is a very very good way to get good and serious minded people Mm -hmm. okay so make sure you check out bookings africa yes shall we enter the place let's go okay so there was this thing in september about paternity in nigeria first of all we already know that Nigerian women have been accused of having one of the highest paternity fraud rates in the world, which I don't, which I don't agree That's with. That's what's up. Dio, Dio said, Dio said scum. Just so you know. And then... Um, we've, we've already established men and women are scum. So let's Thank move you. on. So um, um, Nedu's ex-wife decided to say, oh, is this today the day that we're going to call out um baby daddies or husbands or something and then baba just responded with receipts he brought out uh dna test results proving yes. that the first child he was not the father aha uh-huh, in maury's voice basically my okay. earring just fell but it's okay the gist was so scandalous my earring just <laughs> fell but yeah and then all um, more people were now it was like mixed reactions people were like oh my god they love the way he responded with you know um dna results some people were like oh he should have covered the child's name you know just to protect the child yeah, yeah. and all of that and then this just snowballed into this big thing of oh is your daddy really your daddy i know that my daddy is my daddy mm. i know my daddy is my daddy because i have his nose so you know there you go um i was gonna say something else but i will get in trouble with my family so. <laughs> <laughs> i do think though that a lot, there of, are a lot of i mean yeah. if you, it just reminds me of this book um baba Segi, secret lives yeah. of baba Segi's wives a lot of women um who are married to men who cannot yes what was the word who cannot <laughs> my there's biology in my mind right now because my my mindset germinates <laughs> you see impregnate but, but it's who are married to men who cannot impregnate them go out and you know get pregnant by somebody else just so that you know to protect his shame well, that's what happened in, in the wow. secret lives of a master his wives it's a book you need to go read yeah very interesting really good book so um what do you guys think what do you guys think about this whole paternity thing um i mean i mean let's be honest i think there is probably if we had if we decided to do like one of these dna 
you know, clinics like maybe on <laughs> on every corner or something in, in this country, we would find out that there are a lot of people that a lot there are a lot of men mm. that are looking after kids that are not theirs. Some of them even know. Yeah, some of them know. Some of them know. Mm-hmm. Um, some of them don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, and is it? I'm. It's a bad thing. Obviously, it's a bad thing. I don't. I don't think there's anything I can say that would just you know that, no, that can make it. it. Yeah, I don't. Th- if I don't think it's a good thing. If your partner says to you, Tolu, I want to get a DNA test on our children. Which one? Will you be upset? <laughs> 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 will you be upset? I would be. Mm. I would be. Yeah, I actually okay. would be. And okay. okay. I don't think I, I would. Be. I. I think. I think there's certain <laughs> levels. I think there's certain levels of evil. Uh huh. And it is very, very horrible. It will be very, very horrible for you to knowingly, knowingly, knowingly basically have a child and just say, this child belongs to you when you know it doesn't belong to that person. Okay. I think that's horrible. I okay. think that's evil. Okay. Now, if it was... Oh, but then again, why would you be messing around with different people unprotected, though? That's a, you know... That's another thing. You're that's talking a thing. to most of the country. Yeah. But anyway. I said, so that's it. So, so oh, huh? what? what did you say? He said Team Raw Dog. Uh, <laughs> Are you Team Raw Dog? I, I feel like that. Oh, why is it your Team Raw Dog? What the hell? He pointed, he pointed to you. <laughs> Wait, okay, okay. Are you guys, okay, I, is this why you guys, some people do this. Some people do this to justify their Team Raw Dogness. They said that when they, you know, about to get frisky with a new partner, they both go get tested for everything. And then once they realize that they're clean, then they can now Raw Dog each other with you know that yeah but you chest. have to get tested regularly mm. like so, once a month really Jesus. are you team raw dog <laughs> are you team raw dog <laughs> do you know what i heard but i fuck you die oh thank you oh my God. I, I, I don't know that. what's I going know. on with baby i think she's ovulating because i don't know what's going on <laughs> but that's what i heard um, this is 20 wait let me <laughs> wazi are you this are you team let's let's let, let uh, wazi oh, answer are you team raw dog that's just like, it's complicated, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no. no. <laughs> no. 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 Explain. Okay, you know Let's what? Give Let's give her a chance. Explain. Let's give her a chance. Guys. Explain. So my hair keeps falling. It's kind of lost moment. So, so it's a little complicated because I've just got out of a, like a very serious relationship. And yeah. in that relationship, yeah, yeah, kind of because like we we established certain things. We were getting tested regularly. You were getting tested regularly. Okay, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, and, and we knew what worked for us. But outside of that, hell to the hell, okay. fuck no. Like there's okay. nobody that's coming close to you know. Okay. All right. You. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> All right. That's fair. <laughs> don't feel don't feel embarrassed let's, about let's it. Not be, let's you were not getting lie you, over you, here and to be honest, it. you were getting tested regularly, which is what you should do. Do you, you know? Nobody here should sit here and judge her because you know that some of you, even you with your say. friends with benefits, are raw doggy. So, so <laughs> and then not be swallowing. I don't know why why is trying to judge no, people. No, then the women <laughs> went <laughs> now. <laughs> why now? Then the women now be swallowing uh, money no, after no, pills. Like, no, no, <laughs> swallowing money after pills. Like, if no, it's gogo. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, one of the biggest basketballs mm-hmm. of September. Mm-hmm. Is that correct? Yeah, yes. basketball. Uh, one of the b- biggest basketballs. Of mm-hmm. September was um, Annie and Tubaba. And this was, it was very sad. It was very sad for me because um, it just showed a woman that was in almost like complete anguish mm. of what's going on in her, in her, you know, in her relationship and everything. And I get everyone saying, oh, you should never put it on social media. It's entertainment for people. But sometimes when you're going through shit, you're not thinking clearly, you're in so much pain, you're upset at this person, you're disappointed. And it just kind of spills out, mm. you know, quite often you do it and then you regret it and everything. Um, but there was something that I, I think somebody recorded. We need to talk about the people that leak shit. Mm-hmm. Why oh. are you leaking shit? Why are you leaking you stuff? You know, now that you think about it, that's your statement has a different meaning. Bemi, Bemi, ha- Bemi has been yeah. very, her, her <laughs> whole attitude this episode so far has been quite summer. I think she's ovulating. I don't know so she's very I'm ovulating over and over and over. No, no because you're, you're acting like you're in ovulating. heat. I'm not acting like I'm <laughs> Anyways, anyways. No. So the people that are leaking like Sheets. voice notes and everything. <laughs> I can't say shit anymore because Bemi's mind goes elsewhere. But why would you do that? Why would you call that person your friend and then they have a conversation that you're recording 
why the fuck are you recording in the first place so that was that was very difficult to listen to um i felt very very bad for her so i think they've sorted things out now um but i just think that the people that were coming against her you don't know what she's going through you don't know if this is something that she's kept you know in for like months and months and months and she just had like a little bit of a mini breakdown it does happen sometimes so i just think you know give her a break and um so far they seem to have patched things up i think i don't know um but yeah just uh, give her give her i mean there are people who are saying that what does she expect um you know i remember when they got married when they got married in dubai and the people were like oh she won and then there was this hot debate on twitter about what do you mean she won what did she win xyz mm. you know what whatever part of the argument you're on it's not my life it's not your life mm. but it was just I, I had like i was cringing it was embarrassing I felt, yeah, there I was really all sorts like <laughs> people are yeah. going through a lot too. Pe- <clears throat> I didn't know about that. You were just telling me about that. I just saw, I just saw, I just saw one clip. I saw, um, not a clip. I think it was a picture or something that, um, the, she she was the first baby mama, right? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, That she posted. And I just did, it didn't sit well with me because we don't know. Honestly, we don't know exactly what happened. We don't know. Yeah. Yeah. She was the one, she was the one that, you know, Annie was upset about. I just, I kind of felt a bit, some type of way about that. Cause I was like, you, you didn't need to like stoke the flame but they had a kumbaya moment a few years yeah, they ago did. at some they did. club where they were they all did. hugging each other and you know and crying and i was just like okay this is odd but okay can i can i can i be honest mm. um and i think this also comes from you know my background as well mm. um obviously my dad god rest his soul had more than one wife and because of that i do not i from a very young age I said I do not want any sort of baby mama, you know. So the, you used to avoid guys with kids. yes, yes, yes. I used I used to avoid you know guys with kids, or I would just know that I'm gonna date you, but it's not gonna get serious. Mm. And it was just my way of I just didn't want that drama. I just didn't want the whole well. I kind of have to deal with her because you know she has my child, or mm. we have children together and everything. Mm. And I was just like, mm, I know that a relationship with with two people mm. is hard enough, mm-hmm. and let's not even talk about adding you know an ex-partner an ex-partner that has children and everything so i've always kind of shied away from stuff like that mm-hmm. that's my you know preference mm-hmm. that's my this doesn't opinion. mean that if you have a child that you're condemned or whatever no no no, no everybody just, has their own preference. yes and this is from personal you know from like what you know what i saw and everything i just you know didn't want it so that whole thing it for me i felt very sad but i was just like i could not imagine like sort of being in it because it's not just one it's two baby mamas right but there's, there's more. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, there's two other baby mamas, right? <laughs> Is it more? Is it more? <laughs> Is it more? Let's just move on to another topic. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There's. there's- Jesus. See, let's break it down, man. Let's be honest. That's a lot of. That's a lot of shit to deal with. That is a lot of stuff to deal with. Seriously. I can't. Like, when I think about, like, how much of a wholesome character I am in a relationship, and, yes, a wholesome, colorful character I am in a relationship, then I think about, you know, somebody else, and I think about, you know, this with, with children, that would... I don't Did know you why you're wholesome. I don't know why you're clinging. <laughs> Can you search the dictionary for the meaning of wholesome? But you, yeah, you don't understand my picture the meaning. there, like... <laughs> Anyhow, mm-hmm. it's it's a it's a lot of stress. I think you know what I think. I think if you're in the situ- if you're in a situation where you're dating somebody that has you know children with um, their previous partner or whatever, you need to know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Good luck, That's sis. my opinion. Oh, That's bro. my opinion. Like if you have somebody that if you're dating like a man or a woman mm-hmm. and they seem to have a you know a decent civil relationship with their former partner, I think that's fine. But if there's still a lot of man, did I not tell you about that time? So what if the hmm. kids are grown? If the kids are grown, that's better because then there's no, oh, you know, I need to talk to you because this, you know, Junior needs this or Junior needs that. Okay, so speaking of people who leak voice notes and phone conversations and stuff like that, Tonto DK was like for like two weeks in September, always like in the news. Um, there was some voice note or was it a, mm. a phone with conversation her yeah. ex was having with somebody else I couldn't even listen to half of it because I was like what is this and you know it was just a mess like it, you know it was just a mess what 
first of all, mind who you date, for goodness sake. Like, if you're going to, you know, spend time with someone, open yourself up to someone, sleep with someone, spend, I don't know. You need to vet the person mm-hmm. properly because there are too many mad people walking yes. around. I just think, you know. I knew there was a there was a very very strong issue with him the moment he said Kate anxious. <laughs> I didn't, even, oh. I didn't even get that far into into the voice said, so apparently he was, he was referring to Kate Henshaw Kate Henshaw he called her Kate, Kate Anxious mm. when he said that I was like oh boy oh funny and really allegedly funny. he has uh, sex tapes of various people that he smashed at, and even involving like a married um, internet dancer I mean that was like whoa should I talk shit? Talk it to. <laughs> talk it to. Who are you doing sex tapes with, man? Who are you just doing sex tapes with anyone? Like seriously, it means you you need to have like some kind of blood oath with that person. Even blood oath, said, please to break it, please, so please. But but how can you like pick it up sex tapes? Let's leave that one to later. Mm-hmm. Let's leave that one to later. Anyhow, um, okay. With first of all, I like how Tunso maintained herself mm-hmm. this time. I like, I like the the first time was a bit. It was it was a little bit heartbreaking, mm-hmm. but this time she kind of you know didn't like go off and everything. But you know what, Tunso's gangster <laughs> because like her you know conversation. There was another. There was something that I, that I listened to. And I was just like, okay, she's gangster. Um. So yes, like you said, I agree. You need to be careful. Like uh, you know. With you know who you date and everything um but this guy he just i don't know there were just so many different things and i was like how can you be having this conversation with 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 some someone and be saying all these things about somebody that you're dating number one um why do you have so many sex tapes number two and i'm just i just was very baffled by the whole thing mm. i was just very baffled and I the thought, person he was talking to i had posted on to her, i said oh my love my this my dad this life and eh, people are so evil yeah oh my this oh my that's oh my my mm, yeah. if this if if like if i was gonna give a message to him to i'd be like you know what smile if you want to do the whole you know online thing but you better get her mm-hmm. get her get her get her good mm-hmm. because that is this person was your was supposed to be your friend and More they like did a little this. sister. Yeah. Abu, this reminds Abu, me of this reminds me of uh, what's that um smart smart money smart mm. what smart, smart money woman smart money guys... woman and that abro that was just a devil mm. you know that's that's really what this reminds me of I just I don't know anyways I'm just glad she seems to be okay with this with with the way this is panning out I hope she doesn't like react and do like an interview or whatever I think the way she's handling this right now mm. is actually absolutely fine the guy let's just see what happens he's coming out with all these different you know stories but you know i just i just hope that she finds obviously she's looking for somebody yeah go find her one. yeah somebody one. decent somebody Someday. that's going to you know make her happy and not you know <laughs> do all of these crazy things so speaking of somebody's son um uh, let's introduce this new segment called video of the week this is a viral video viral clip that has gone viral and you guys want us to talk about it and this is what we've been getting we're getting a lot of messages for us to talk about it so watch this yesterday i um i was leaving a radio station i'm in my car my road manager sent me a message and he's like yo check your check your phone and i'm like oh, okay so i check it and there's a video and i'm just like whoa i'm like where did you get this from and he's like I just got it like 20 minutes ago and this is somebody on your team yeah this so this video was sent to him mm-hmm. and it's a tape of me and the person i'm dating right now yeah oh my and god then, i'm so sorry i know i know so and you're in the middle of like crisis right now so, so i mean the, you seem very like calm and okay but yeah because I, I like so i said to, I, the first thing i got off the phone and I, I sent it to my manager and she was like oh my god and, I, and i'm like what are we gonna do so the person's asking for money now of course so is it the person you were dating no 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 no, no, no. and he's going crazy too so i'm like what are we gonna do and my manager's like well how much are they asking for so i woke up and i was like no i'm not because I pay it now and then two months down the line you're yeah. gonna come back again and then two years and then who knows even if I do send you the money you probably would release it anyway like yeah. the fact that I'm not going to allow anyone to blackmail me for doing something that is natural aha 
So what do you think about that? Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> no, but really, what do you think about so, that? Okay, so I have two thoughts. Like my thoughts are like, mm-hmm. you know, uh, first thought is if you're doing a sex tape or if you're like filming yourself, why would you film yourself on Snapchat? I don't understand this video. I don't understand this. I don't understand. First of all, that's one. Unless and then two, maybe feel sad. Look, maybe that's why. I feel no, that if I was going to do that, I'd put a filter on myself. If you have lots and lots of body markings in the first place, do not do a sex tape. I already already have a thing with you know if you're gonna take a picture a naughty picture a naughty video no face your face should not no show face. but if you have a lot of if she has a lot of tattoos mm. you will know that's why just, I don't just have one tattoos arm, just do this <laughs> <laughs> you know anyhow anyhow I have no tattoos <laughs> I could do what I want but but um yeah so that that was a little bit confusing for me because I was I was thinking okay why would you why would you go in Snapchat because for me when I first heard this I was like I suspect him mm-hmm. because why would you go into snapchat and then to upload it it's not something that you, you, you can't have to press a few you things. have to press a few you have to go to snapchat open snapchat you know and there's okay 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 and everything so that was a little bit suspect and i was just like hmm um but then my my other you know my other thoughts were like look if this is s- something similar well this wasn't like a sex thing they were just like risque pictures mm-hmm. happened with um salawa queen salawa been mm-hmm. my mom's face um and she just decided to and the person was obviously trying to blackmail her mm-hmm. as well she just decided to like say look this is what's going on and it basically kind of killed the whole thing mm-hmm. so i think in certain situations that's probably the right thing to do mm-hmm. if you're being blackmailed and this person is you know pressuring you and whatever sometimes just saying look this is what it is all the guys who are hoping that this thing leaks or gets online shame guys on you. guys and girls well all of you <laughs> there's so all many people the individuals who are hoping that it leaks. Look, at, look at this one rubbing his hands oh together. gosh <laughs> i just think you just know, make sure you stream the music <laughs> why was it Huh? Oh wow! While watching, wow, yeah, while watching. <laughs> what? Which of her songs would you I play while watching? Yeah, not serious. Uh, yeah, it's a wedding recording. So it's, no, I mean, what I'm yeah, saying is, let the person benefit from it. Let the person benefit from it now. If you're gonna just stream the music as well, you know. <laughs> Did you feel some type of way as an on-air personality watching that? Um, because I feel that sometimes um, Nigerian celebrities, when they get abroad or when they're being interviewed by maybe foreign media personalities or journalists, they open up a little bit more. But when you ask them certain things, you kind of get, yeah. you know, stonewalled or an attitude. Yeah, um, I was another, another, so I said two thoughts, three thoughts um, that I had. The third one was that, okay, this is something that she was being interviewed by Angie Martinez. Mm-hmm. This is something that Angie probably she probably she had no idea her. yeah so yeah she volunteered she volunteered the information and i get that you're you know this is happening you're trying to get like ahead of this situation and everything but it's something i i you know i did feel a little bit like okay if this was in nigeria this wouldn't have happened mm. it wouldn't have happened it wouldn't be like okay this is what's going on guys and everything and it did make me feel some type of way but you know what each to his or her own I mean, I guess you can choose where and when to say what you want, but I feel like, because there are certain individuals, when you ask them questions, you know, about certain sensitive things, they feel some type of way, maybe after the interview, might give you attitude or whatever it is, but you go abroad and, wow, I'm just like... I've always (laughs) said this, I've always said this, um, as... I got on in the industry as I, you know, uh, became uh, more experienced. And um, there's certain, there was at the beginning, I didn't want to ask certain questions because I was like, oh, I don't want to embarrass anyone. But after a while, I was like, wait, we have a job to do. We have listeners that are bombarding us with us, this, us, this, us, this, us, this. And you kind of have to deliver. So what I do now is I will tell them, I'm going to ask you this, I'm going to ask you that. And it's up to you. If you go on CNN, they're gonna ask you that question Thank even you. if you are the president of goddamn whatever they can ask Thank you that question you. and it's up to you to be prepared mm. so i think it's unfair and i think you might agree with me i think it's unfair you know when you know people when you know people that are you know presented and everything to kind of say oh don't ask me about this don't ask me about no, that apart from that, that this is why i also try not to be too close to artists or to celebrities in general because just because we're sipping champagne together and sip doesn't mean or friday night doesn't mean that on monday 
when you have a scandal and you're in front of me in the in the in the studio, I'm not going to ask you, baby. I will ask. Mm. I will ask. It's not left for you to now find a clever way to answer or say or walk off. Walk yeah. off. Sorry, yeah. I won't go viral. Yeah. Great, <laughs> fantastic. Sometimes Do you understand. Mm. But sometimes it's not even people that you're close to. It's people that you know mm. that they kind of like, oh, don't ask this, don't ask mm. that. And I'm just like, well, mm. I, I I'll say to them, I'm gonna ask this. It's up to you to come up with, you know, a response. Too. You know, because and that's I've been in interviews where I've been asked uncomfortable questions. Mm-hmm. And I just either I just said I just kind of skipped it or just I just didn't answer it. Mm-hmm. So you are entitled to just say, you know, I don't want to answer that, but I think it's wrong for you to say, don't ask me this, don't ask me that, or you or not come and give attitude after, and I'm like, I'm only trying to do my job. Yeah. Do you understand? So and as much as possible, we do try to balance it. So it's not like yeah. we just focus on the negative yeah. when, when or the good controversial. Stuff happens, yeah, we know. talk about the good we'll stuff. Talk about we talk, good about, stuff. We talk about, we'll about the good We talk about the good and the bad, happy and the sad. There you go. All right. Okay, so let's talk about R. Kelly. Robert Sylvester Kelly. Is that his Sylvester? Yes. Yeah. He looks like Sylvester. His name is, his name is Sylvester. Is mm. anyway. Okay, so R. Kelly has... Most Sylvester's, like, I knew Sylvester in school and he was a bit of a perv as well. Is your brother called Sylvester? Oh, sorry. My God. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now, up, huh? back to the topic. <laughs> <laughs> back to the topic. So um, we hear that his, his album sales have gone up 500 and something percent. His streams have gone up about 22 percent and so many other things have happened. What could be causing this? People probably think he's going to die in jail. People probably think, oh, he's never going to release new music yes. again. Uh, <laughs> Or people are like, oh, let's go back to the lyrics. You mean he when he was recording this, he was talking about teenage girls, ew, young yeah. or boys, because there are also boys that yeah, could, you yeah, know, take yeah. him to court. Um, different things. Well, here's my problem with this issue. The more and people are like, oh, separate the artist from the crime, blah blah blah. Okay, look, he's a genius, musical mm-hmm. genius. Whether he's singing about the nastiest stuff that he's going to do to you in the dark, or whether he's singing about Jesus, he's fantastic. However, when you stream this guy's music, you are putting more money in his pocket. And what happens is that then he has more money to continue to intimidate mm-hmm. the people, his victims, or to hire stupid lawyers that are going to defend him in court. That's what happens. So you are putting more money in the pocket of this evil person. Yeah. I will say this, right? You said he was a genius. I agree. Uh, because not only did this guy tell us what he was doing, mm. He also called himself the Pied Piper. If you don't know the story of the Pied Piper, I remember when I when he started calling himself the Pied Piper, I was like, wait a second, isn't the Pied Piper the one that was making kids disappear? Which yes. is what he did. That's what he was doing. And he was singing about it. And we were like, here, here comes the Pied Piper. <laughs> you know? So even me, I was like, what was I thinking? Um, now, with regards to with regards, I I get there's some people that have you know, probably strong feelings about some of his songs and everything. But this guy's a monster. Let's be honest. He's a monster. He did some horrible, horrible things. Um, I watched Surviving R. Kelly. And the part, the scariest part was when one of his first trials, I think he was acquitted. One of his first trials during, during the trial, he was still, he had like a lot of supporters and everything. A lot of young supporters as well that were coming to court saying he's innocent. He got people to scout those people, those young, innocent, and he got he got like some numbers and everything. What I think is not only should he be in jail, the people that facilitated this, because he wasn't approaching them himself. He was getting his team members manager to do it. His manager, his bodyguard and everything. So all of these people need to answer as well. But he was a very, very disgusting guy. And um, I don't know, maybe they're listening because... There's not going to be traps in the closet at 14 and they're sad about that. I don't know. You know, but he he told us what he was doing in his songs. That's the craziest thing. AJ, nothing but it. He didn't, that was Aaliyah's song, but he wrote that. Yeah. And the whole, um, if you think about it, what, what, which other song? Um, um, I think that you're ready. That one or something. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Ahead, just, uh. Anyways, anyways. So um, let's see what happens. His sentencing is in May. That's a long time. A long time. That's yeah, a but long she time. to spend yeah. more time in jail. I mean, I think it's just so sad that we can't dance to "Step in the Name of Love" again yeah. or "Happy People." Those were some good songs. But at least, um, at least we will have less people auditioning with "I Believe I Can Fly." I'm tired of that song. <laughs> I'm tired of that song. I'm tired of those auditions. Oh man. my goodness. Okay. okay. Speaking of "Step in the Name of Love," which is a big song at wedding. Let's talk about this photographer who decided to delete this couple's wedding pictures because they did not give him food. Now, 
backstory goes. So he's a dog photographer, but they approached him and said, come and take our wedding photos. And they, they negotiated $250 or pounds, can't remember. And he was pretty much capturing every moment from when the bride was dressing up to when they got to the wedding venue. That's a lot this was, it was like 10 hours, mm-hmm. okay? He, at some point, wanted to take a break and they told him he cannot take a break. He wanted um, some water, he wanted some food. There was no way for him to even sit at the wedding. Now, you know this on white people stuff. Because, I was going to say, you know, there's no way. Yeah. If, if my mom, during my wedding, found out the photographer didn't eat, mm. that's like... Yeah. So that, you know, it was one thing. He wasn't allowed to eat, wasn't allowed to take a break. And so he decided that he was going to delete their wedding photos. And he deleted them. I went to report himself on Reddit. So, guys, do you think that he should have deleted their wedding photos? Yes or no? I think I think deleting was a lot. I can understand Your anger. his his upset. I can understand him being pissed off. Mm-hmm. Like number one, quite rightly, like you said, this obviously wasn't a black people wedding. Mm-hmm. Um, he did. They didn't give him food. They didn't give him drink, and refused him a break. That for me, I can understand him being being pissed off. But then this is a wedding. It's not like you can. It's not like it's a photo shoot. That you can just say, okay, we'll you do it again. You don't get married every day. You know, yeah. we'll do it again tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So what I would have done, I understand that he also gave them a very very hefty discount. Mm-hmm. I would have just kept the pictures. I yeah. would have just kept the pictures and just said, you know what, um, that two fifty that I charged you, I was doing it as 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 a friend. But I think we're not friends. So I want a thousand dollars. That's what I would oh, have done. Oh, at least, you know, frustrate them some before they get their pictures. Yeah. But to delete their pictures, come on. Yeah, that was a bit, that was a bit harsh. But then at the same time, the couple, they're trash as well. well even ordinary photo shoots that last two, three hours, people, people yeah. f- even if it's snacks. So yeah. come on. For my wedding, Sha, did you eat at my wedding? You ate at my wedding. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everybody ate at my wedding. I, I was very full. My dress was very tight. See, I remember yeah. that. Yes. There was, there was some videos that came up to me after my wedding. They were like, ah, I ate it. I ate my la rice. Name like three or four different things that they ate. I and saw, the, the worst thing is I didn't really eat at my wedding. For me, I ate too. But see, uh, there were, I, I had a good time. Ah, they sprayed me. Ah, Uncle Shinopela sprayed me. <laughs> Uncle, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> have you? Have you noticed that spraying is different now? They don't spray as much, man. Ah, who said that? Maybe you have not been going out. Oh, I haven't been. Let me tell you what's been happening, going right? Going right? You know, back, you know, outside Lagos, spraying is a thing in clubs. Mm. Yes. They brought it to Lagos now. So if a guy likes you or is your friend or just wants to show you some love, he's gonna spray you some money. Now the yeah. thing is, a lot of girls are too shy to pick the money. In this economy, let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> One can of SMA gold is eight thousand three hundred and fifty naira. I will know. <laughs> One can and the baby eats it last one week food. Oh Jesus! I will pick it. <laughs> Give your baby a camel. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> somebody once told me. Somebody once told me we're about to go to this party. Um, this is like I think I just moved back to Nigeria, mm-hmm. and they were like, "Oh, if they spray you, um, if they spray you, like fine, but anything less less than two hundred, just let it fall to the floor." I said, "Really?" <laughs> Some people get pissed if you actually spray them hundred hundred naira. To two hundred naira. But that's they, 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 they're like it's an insult. Like, please, you should not spray them anything less than five hundred or thousand. And but this is she said two hundred. This is back in the day. So right now, I don't want to. For me, I want the minimum of a dollar to be touching yeah. my body. Like the minimum. So what's a dollar now? Like five something. So five really, seven, five, 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 five hundred. So if I ever but, see but, you at somebody's event, I have to turn them down. I will come and tell them. Tell them. But 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 listen, listen, yeah. Think about it this way, right? First of all, you are a guest at a wedding, a female guest. Mm-hmm. Chances are you've done your, you've done makeup. They've come to tie gilly on your head. That's kind of partially cutting off the circulation. Mm. You're probably wearing a tight dress. You probably have like spanks or you know waist trainer mm. underneath. Then you still have to like dance and you know and then and then pick up the money and everything. Why are you gonna spray spray me less than five hundred? Why? I'm working. I'm working as it is. It's true. She said it's a I'm lot of stress. Girl, if bye. anything, I think one thousand is actually the minimum. What? You're look. You're wearing a tight dress. <laughs> you're wearing a tight dress. The gilet, the gilet is tight. The Nobody gilet. asked you to wear a tight dress, boo. Nobody Please. asked you to tie gilet. Please. You could have worn. You could have some boo boo. Let her uh, put shine shine on it. You'll be fine. The brush is free. Wait. Brush wait, your wait, wait, nice. Wait. Brush your nice <laughs> hair. Okay. And you'll be okay. Take and die off. You guys. you Let's just say. Do you guys spray money? Do you guys do that? Take it, but I don't. You go to a wedding. You go to a wedding. You see um, somebody, you see there's a girl, like, you know, looking, see, and then you see somebody else wearing boo-boo, and just, who you, who you spraying? Of course, the 
It's how you carry yourself. It's how. I was it. I was it. Why is baby not being truthful? Look, why is baby not being truthful? See, I had to show a show very recently, and I was so upset because all the styles were all these. Tight waist, tight waist. I was like, why? Why? And, and I, they, they made me a jumpsuit, and I was just like, please just make me a jumpsuit because I was just and I had not tie any gidi. Cause why? 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 I won't get sprayed. Ah. There was this, there was this event that I went to, and I had like this, um, like very. They had like a corset dress, mm. and so they did. They obviously came to my house, got me dressed and everything. And I sat in my car and my boobs went. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I was like, and then as because he was tiny, I'm like, I can't really, I, I had to like breathe like like little shallow breaths and stuff. So I got in the car and then we got to the place. I had to call him. I say, come and meet me at this event and loosen this shit. Yeah, because I'm not about to pass out. There's some party. dresses that are so tight. Like there was one dress that was so tight that the event hall had stairs. I couldn't climb the stairs, so I had to go sideways. I looked so stupid. <laughs> or like you remove a dress and it has bruised you because it is so tight. I'm not doing it again, I beg. Uh, no. I feel like like getting into weddings or being in a wedding now is expensive. It's stressful. I show it be is expensive now. I thought mine was expensive. It's like to be in any wedding. I was so first of all, you buy a show be, then you need to pay your um yeah, tailor. Person. And then now you can't just sew ordinary as you be. You have to put shine, shine. You have to put different, you have to put different, different, and then different, different the, things. The design that only cover your nipple. What do you kind of nonsense? And those, and either you do that or you do like a panel, and those panels cost money. Mm. So there's that. Then you need to factor in makeup. You need to, and makeup artists, their prices have gone up as well. Yeah. All of those things. Is expensive. It's expensive. You need to, you know, everything. So how dare I come to the party and you're trying to spray me 200 naira? Why? Yeah, Why? Yeah, titles. Eh? Is next up, <laughs> it is a requirement. If you're going to spray me, please don't spray me 200 naira. Unless the only time I will ex- accept 200 naira is if it's in bundles. So if you're going to spray me in bundles, that's fine. So stone how is bundles? Stone, <laughs> stone away, stone away. It's fine. Whatever it is that you, Asha, the money is shall clean. I will take it. <laughs> you 100 naira. Just oh! spray plenty. <laughs> spray plenty. See, baby, me saying that, but baby, one hundred naira. Spray plenty, Sha. Let, let us not see the floor again. That kind of spray. Yeah. <laughs> you you now you now you now pack hundred naira. Hundred naira is now ten k. <laughs> Which is not even enough to pay your oh, makeup artist. Oh, <laughs> apparently in this culture. apparently in this Lagos. People are doing makeup for three thousand. I was like, no, no. The, the the things they are using on your face will probably make you break out. You catch boil. All these things. Yeah. Mm-mm. Anyway, could be herpes as well. Ah, mm. girl. <laughs> three thousand naira makeup. Really? Really? You know, I want to know how much. You know what? Let's ask the audience. How much do you pay if your makeup artist? Mm-hmm. Don't lie. Oh. How much do you pay your makeup artist? How much do you pay your makeup artist? Yeah. Um, okay, so speaking of weddings, there was another wedding palava that went palava that went viral. Um, I, he was a he was a groomsman, right? And he was um, barred from entering the church mm-hmm. because he had an, he had an earring, mm-hmm. and he kind of just he didn't. I think he left. And I'm thinking that why didn't you just? It's your friend's wedding. And he tweeted about it that oh, yeah. this is why religion and blah 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 blah. Just take it off. It's if that was if that was one of my people, I would just be a bit upset that you wouldn't find there's some churches or there's some you know organizations that have some very interesting rules and everything. But why would you not? It's an earring. Some churches make the bride show yeah. her dress before yeah, the yeah. day and stuff some yeah some churches tell the bride over and over and over again no make sure that your bridesmaids are fully covered no cleavage no this in fact the church that my parents go to they have scarves in all colors so when these bridesmaids come up in some quote-unquote scandalous outfits they give them the color of the, the mm. shade. they have every shade and they give them to cover you know, um, I think that the guy should have, for his friend's sake, it's, it's, taken it's the airing. look. I have been deal. at a friend's wedding where I was exhausted. Ideally, I should have been given a bed to sleep. I mean, I was dozing, but I was there. So, mm. do it's for your friend at the yeah. end of the day, it's for your friend. So, all that, oh, 
do it. It's your friend's day. You're there to make them happy, to just make their day. So you have taken up the earring. No biggie, guy. No need yeah. to start writing proof. And last, last topic about weddings. Mm-hmm. Kids at weddings. For or against? Against. I don't mm-hmm. think they should. Look, kids are kids. They don't respect what's happening. They don't want to know. You know, they just want to run around and have fun and scream. Imagine doing your vows. You and your groom are, you know, at the verge of tears. Oh my God, I love you so much. And next to yeah, well, Mommy, I want to wee wee. In the middle of your vows. I didn't do you understand? No, no. I, I, I don't. I, I, I had absolutely no issues with kids being at my wedding. I didn't want. Them and to. Um, my only thing is, if you are a parent, what? and it is a very, very intimate, you know, section of the wedding, like exchanging vows and your kids screaming, just go outside. Yeah. I think that's the very least you could do. Don't, you know, it. I, that's just common sense. So I don't. I actually like kids at weddings. I think they're very amusing. Some of the moments that I do remember, because mm-hmm. I don't remember a lot, my wedding I, is like just watching, you know, my nieces and nephews playing around and everything i loved it my mom begged and begged and begged you're not gonna you're not gonna have a little bride no you're not gonna have a little group no you don't have father no i was just like no i just don't know like just no like just no you know i love kids i love my child but you know there are certain events that mm -mm. there are some children that had to be at mine and my mom had to say please they have nowhere to put the kids and i was just like i don't want any kids running around like no oh my god whatever no they don't want them running around that just doesn't mean that she was like oh Nigerian said that you don't want to have children and i said what well, they can say whatever they want to say like you want everybody has an idea of what they want their special day to be mm. it's not like i'm getting married every friday so if i want it this way please respect it for that day i'm not i'm not saying you should come i am not i'm not killing you just don't bring them what if somebody really close to you now couldn't make your wedding because let's say childcare fell through last minute okay bring your child but hold your child yeah do you understand not, not every i mean the kids at my wedding were relatively like well behaved so i think I mean, if you if your child is unruly mm-hmm. you know and or if they're not even let me rephrase that kids go through an age where they're just crazy mm-hmm. they're just crazy <laughs> what age is that do you know around that two hey just for two <laughs> <laughs> just for two my son showed there were times when my son would do stuff and i'd just be like but then he's he's now he's almost three mm-hmm. so he's now kind of he still has like some tantrums no this guy literally would you know throw himself on the floor sometimes and luckily i think that's why i keep them at home a lot mm-hmm. because this was at home and um i read i read you know i read all these books and quite often they just say ignore them as long as they're not hurting themselves just so just step over the child ah, just on the floor just step <laughs> over the child and then after a while the <laughs> child will get up because nobody's paying you know him mm-hmm. any attention yeah but i do think if you have a child that is acting up or whatever during a very very intimate part of the ceremony of course you know take them out oh, yeah right. and lastly so remember how we said that september was the best busiest month so far of this year october started off with a very shocking bath bus mm. brian one two about Arambe. <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, what? 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 See, what? What? It happened on the day that WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook had gone down. So all of us put on our VPNs and went on Twitter. And so I was like, did this guy plan this? Because I was reading as I follow him, and I was reading as he was tweeting real time, <laughs> and I was reading it out. I was just like, huh, huh, what? So you know this funny. So did you or did you not? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> If I'm going to be honest, yeah, maybe it's because it was a crazy day for me that day. I read it. I really didn't understand it. Hello. I said I read this as he was tweeting. He was live tweeting and I was reading it. I was like, um... You know what it is? Um, what? You know what it is? You know, Brimo is a very, very, very proud, proud Yoruba man. Mm -hmm. I reckon that Brimo thinks in old school Yoruba and when he translates it... So are you saying that he should tweet in Yoruba from now on? No, no, no. I'm saying that he tweets. You will Wait. be the next subject. No, 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 no. Um, two, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> you guys. No, 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 no. You're not understanding me. Yeah, I think I, he, he, I think he thinks. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Oh, God. Let me explain. Right? Are you think... explaining since? Wait. Like... <laughs> I think that he thinks in old school Yoruba. So? So when he translates his thoughts. That is where the issue. So it's kind of like what we're seeing, what we're reading is like if somebody um, from like the Shakespearean era. Okay, so yes. let me try to do this. So that's what I mean. Or when two face here, 
o so pe mo gba animu abi o so pe omi do ani i don't i i don't know i can't really speak old school yoruba i can't really speak old school yoruba so i think you know what you're in trouble because he's going to see this and next is going to be like But I'm sure his next album is going to be dope though. So I met <laughs> Suze. No wait, I met Suze on a dusky October evening 2006. And then I saw Captain at an event and he said, "Brian, no Brian." But but what is very important to remember uh, is that we support and love everybody. No, I'm, but that's not the only thing he said. He okay, also said continue. alleged that He was at a hotel. Then he walked out of the hotel, and then when he walked back to the gate of the hotel, they wouldn't let him in unless he showed ID. And then what he and then he said, you know, that he tried to fight his way in, and then four guys came from somewhere, and then the guys fought him. Do you know what I think? And he said that oh, it was Two Face that sent the guys to fight him. Do you know what I think? I think that guy was higher than a motherfucking kite. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was. <laughs> what's what's that? What's that thing that um um what's it called? Olamide used to that song. Is it science? What's it called? Science students. Science students. What he was singing about? I think maybe Bramo had a night. He just took everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you kind of have to be in some sort of you know. I mean, to sing songs like "Quick, you know, get shoulder." That's the title of Prick no get shoulder. Yeah, that's oh. the title of one of his songs. Yeah. Oh, Prick doesn't have shoulder. And he goes, Prick, you know, get shoulder. Oh, so does it mean that um, like Prick isn't proud, so it can go anywhere? It means that it's access, like you don't understand oh, his songs, you don't understand his because tweets, his songs, you don't understand it's, anything. It's, it's, You don't understand his sweet job. <laughs> <You know? laughs> anyway, here, of all the people in the studio, who here understood those tweets? No. Nobody understood the tweets. Nobody understood. But you know what? Good. Uh, so, but and then there's a lawsuit <laughs> angle. Yeah, Two yeah, yeah. Said gave him 48 hours to um, I, um to apologize, or else he would get slammed with a one billion naira lawsuit. And he's like, he bring it on. Not, he was like, okay, bring it. So he released a statement. And he was like, okay, <laughs> bring it on. I received. He said, I received. Something from innocent <laughs> lawyers or, or whatever they think they are. Bring it on. Oh, like to Baba. Or something like that. Hey, oh, to Baba. Is it in, I mean, it's so joking, funny that Two Faces' name is innocent, Sha. Yeah, because. <laughs> <laughs> What are you trying to say? What? He's not innocent. Are you sure? <laughs> Do not you have proof? That innocent. I mean, they're living. <laughs> wow. Anyhow, um, wow, so. Wow. So, um, <laughs> best of luck to everyone. <laughs> you are very bad. Oh That's all I'm going to say. You, you, you are bad. Oh, I think we're going to get into trouble. Oh, when I Welcome, back. guys. I think we I'm... promised you a wild ride. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> What? I think I'm pretty, I think I'm the one that's going to get into a lot of trouble with this episode. It's 50-50, don't worry. Is it 50-50? Everyone has to do it. I ain't say shit, bro. No, you, say, did. you did you did you did oh, he knows he knows that i mean he knows that uh, um, uh, uh, you know but we do like Bram's music though we don't like it we like his music i mean but i think tools was scandalized ever ever since we saw his bare butt cheeks when he was wearing the loincloth it Remember was a that? song it was a loincloth <laughs> i just i just i just i just didn't need to see his ass I just didn't need to see his ass. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't need to see his ass. <laughs> What's his ass? What the hell? Like, you know? I think he just... I think Brimo just does the whole shock and awe thing very well. I mean, why did he pick that moment when no one, there was no other social media platform working, but he was like, Twitter is working. <laughs> Do you know what happens? Do you know what happens? Do you know how sometimes you dream about somebody mm. and then you wake up and the dream is so real? Like maybe somebody upset you in the dream and then you see the person and you're just like, you did this. And then it takes, maybe that's what happens. Maybe he dreamt you about you. Oh, are wow. you sure you're not on something? Mm? You are no. it. Like, Reaching, you are reaching. Uh, no, Brahma woke up and maybe he was offended. You know, it's happened to me before. I somebody's vexed me in my dream, and, the, and the, when I woke up, I was just like, "What the fuck?" Then you know, maybe that's what happened. No. Uh? Are you saying that sweet, uh, she dreams of you? I didn't think that true. So, <laughs> I don't want to cut this problem. Dio, Dio. Dio, Dio. That's what it does. Dio, Dio. Ah, you already, oh, you already know. <laughs> And 
on that note, we will bid you farewell. Thank you so much for watching Thank the very you. first episode of season four. Yay! The yes, wild yes, ride. Yes yes, 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 yes. Okay, and don't forget to like, subscribe, all of that to our YouTube channel. Also, send us your fan mail. Look, we had a lot of fan mail last uh, season. We were we a bit promise, rubbish. We promise, okay? Scout honor or whatever. We promise that we will get to your fan mail and we'll definitely address your fan mail on, 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 the, on the next episode. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, big thank you once again to our sponsor for this episode, Brookings Africa. Make sure you check them out. Yes. Look, this economy isn't playing with anybody, right? Yes. So if you have to get an extra hustle or two, Brookings Africa is the way to go. Yeah, All right? download the app. Mm-hmm. Alright, so bye-bye. Yes. Arambe. <laughs>